often we think of the nuisance insects that get attracted to our house lights. We don't think about how intelligent some of the other animals that live on our earth are. The predatory animals, you know, the frog that comes up to my porch to eat the insects that are attracted to the light. Or the spider that builds the web right by the night light so it can feast all night. Now this is the largest web making spider in Florida, for sure the largest native spider species in North America. It's what we also know as the golden silk or weaver in Florida, they call them banana spiders. Its Latin name is actually Triconophila clavips. It's the only member of the family Triconophinips that exist in both North and South America. Now, a lot of times you'll see both male and female golden silk or weavers in the nest, but you'll only notice the female because she's so much larger than the male. And you may also see other spider species taking advantage of this golden silk orb weaver's massive web. They'll build their webs right next to it, like this little garden spider's thing. While I know arachnophobia is a real phobia, I've actually overcome it myself. Uh, I was terrified of all spiders. And when I got one of these massive webs on, my, on myself walking through the woods, because these like to live in forests and, and stuff like that, I would freak out. I'd feel like spiders were crawling on me for hours. But working with spiders has allowed me to become kind of immune to that fear, realizing that there's nothing to fear. And that's the same thing I'm trying to portray in all the animals I feature that so many people are just scared of. Now this animal has eight eyes, but it doesn't see as well as we think. It actually relies a lot on the sensitivity in its feet on these webs to uh, decide whether, as I pull a string, you see her reacting? she'll actually start to shake her web. And when she shakes her webs, she's feeling for resistance in the different strands of her web to determine the size of the prey or predator that's actually caught up in her web. Her web is actually really strong. Some animals that might actually consider her a prey item can get caught up in her web. This is me releasing a green anole that got caught in her web because it's so strong and it's slightly sticky. So I went ahead and released the green and all um, because I knew that there's no point in just letting it suffer and die in its web. And the spider's not gonna feed on it anyhow. It probably just caused injury to the uh, golden silk orb weaver. So I went ahead and let the anole go. But the anole is prey to some spider species. In fact, there's a larger spider species that can be found around waterways. It's the fishing spider. And this fishing spider actually took a green and all down and was feeding on it. I've left this one here for about four months and it's grown dramatically. It's got a huge web now and I'm, I enjoy watching these animals grow right here on my property. As you know, our goal here is to restore the forest back to the forest that it should have been and create a habitat for a variety of different species. So I'll leave this beautiful female golden silk orb weaver. I appreciate all y'all watching this video. If you liked it hit the like button that really helps out it spreads awareness for wildlife supports the channel and we'll see you next time in the great outdoors peace